Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Look, Apple have just released a new app called Clips, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to see how we might be able to use this with our kids, our students, as a form of digital storytelling. So I'm going to start by creating a really simple little animation. Just bear with me here. I'm going to jump into Sketchbook Motion, and you can see here I've created a little animation. I'm just going to show you quickly how to go about doing that. So if I actually go back to our gallery page, um, there's a little bit of a, because I've got the free version here, I'm actually going to, uh, let me select uh, one of these and get rid of it. So what I'll do is I'll actually bin that, uh, select. Gallery, select. I'll select that one and just bin it, just so that we can actually have a look at how to do this. So this is a great little app. Uh, let's jump in here, create a new scene. I'll go with the cloudy one here. At the top, um, there's a little kind of box here that has a little square. So I'm actually going to um, import to layer. And what I'm going to do is actually bring in one of my little PNG files. So if I go to camera roll, I think I've got a little, um, if I scroll through here, let's see if that's the one. Yes, yep, that's it. I might make it a bit smaller say place, because that's a PNG file too, um, you can see that it actually looks really great, doesn't have that white box around it as well. And all we're gonna do is animate. So I'm gonna press the animate button and I might go with Beeline. And what I can do with Beeline is basically um, put the area that I actually want it through. So you can see there it actually is going to the area and I can actually probably just do a little pivot with it. I might just do a little pivot just so that it moves a little bit and is a little bit more realistic as it goes through. And all I need to do there is actually then export that um, as a movie file at the end. So I can actually do that really, really easy. I'll just save that as a video file. Um, let's save that video there. Uh, it might take a little while to do. And what we're gonna use is actually use that in a clip um, in Apple's new Clips app and see how we can actually create this narrative or, or some sort of multimedia presentation as we go along. So it's almost finished there, and I'm just gonna pause the video so that we can actually go into the Clips app. And now I'm in Apple's new app called Clips, and I'll just show you what I've done, and then I'll go through a little bit of a procedure about how we did it. So I've just included some text, put in my animation, and you can put in some music in the background and put some narration there if you want to, but it's very, very easy to use. And you can see there, I've got my little animation there and I've got some little text in there as well. So it's really, really easy to use clips. I think that's one of the great things. So if I go to new video there, you can see that I, goes, I can actually go straight to my uh, a photo or a video or my camera roll. And if I bring that little animation, the way that it works is that you hold down on the red button for as long as you actually want it to go. So I might hold it down. You can see it's going for a little while. I'll wait till it gets up to the top and then I'll press stop. And what you can do there is obviously press on your picture and you can add a whole lot of different things that actually come up. So you might be able to put on some text and do some different things. You might put in a filter, which is really, really nice to do if you're actually doing videos. You can clip it, you can put in sound and do some other things. So this is just a really great way of kids with a free app creating some digital storytelling uh, and also using some of our other apps that we've actually used in the past as well. So it's, it's a fantastic new app. Uh, but what we can do is get kids starting to narrate things that actually changes the narration to actually text, which is fantastic. Um, and I think Clips is a really powerful way of digital storytelling when you combine it with some things like animation, stop motion, and some other things that you can use in the classroom. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly.